Hi everyone! Today we are going to practice fill-in-the-blank style questions for counting. Let's take a look. Here's a number sequence. 12, 13, 14, 15, blank. Well, this one's pretty simple because when you look at this number sequence, you have several numbers that come before the blank to give you a clue about what comes next. It's very easy to tell that in this number sequence, every time you get to the next number, you're getting one bigger. I was at 12. If I get one bigger, that gets me to 13. When I move from 13 to the next number, I'm getting one bigger again, 13, 14. And once more, to get from 14 to the next number, I got one bigger, 14, 15. So it's fairly simple to figure out that this missing blank in our number sequence is 16. We were able to figure this out because we realized that this was an increasing pattern, the numbers are getting bigger, and then we realized they're getting bigger by one each time. That means every time we get to the next number, we're getting one bigger. But sometimes the fill in the blank doesn't come at the end of the question. Here's an example of that. This is a different number sequence. In this number sequence, the fill in the blank is in the middle of the problem so you don't have quite as many clues to go by. In order to figure out what goes in the blank, you need to figure out two things. First of all, is the number sequence getting bigger? Is it growing? Or is it getting smaller and shrinking? If I look at the first number and I look at the last number, I can tell it's getting bigger because 42 is smaller than 46. 46 is bigger than 42. So this pattern is definitely getting bigger and bigger. The next thing I need to figure out is how much bigger. Every time I move to the next number, how much bigger am I getting? In order to figure that out, I can compare two numbers that are side by side, 42 and 43. Well, how many more dots did I need to add to move from 42 into 43? Just one. I was at 42 and then I kept counting, 43. I only needed one more to get to the next term. Let's make sure that that's true. I'll do another test with two other numbers in the sequence that are also beside each other. If I add one more dot to 45, 45, 46, then I get to the next number, 46. Well, that confirms it for me. Now I definitely believe that this is a growing or an increasing pattern and that it's increasing by one. So in order to fill in the missing number, I go to the term before and add one more. Now I know my missing term, 44. Sometimes the fill in the blank will come even earlier in the question, possibly even at the beginning. Take a look. In this number sequence, the fill in the blank is right at the beginning of the question. So you won't be able to consider it when you're figuring out whether or not your number sequence is getting bigger and growing or getting smaller and shrinking. You'll have to look at the other numbers. You can tell by comparing the next term with the last one that this number sequence is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now to figure out how much bigger. How much is it growing by? I was at 69. It only takes one dot to get to 70. Let's just do one more check to make sure that's true for all of the numbers. I'm at 70. I add one more, so I get to 71. Now it's for sure. This is an increasing pattern. It's increasing by one. Wait a second. There's no number here before the blank. So how can I figure out what will come at the beginning of the sequence? I guess I'll have to think backwards. If this was 69, this must be one smaller because it's on the opposite side. So I know it's 68. I can do a test like this. 68 and one more gets me to 69. 
That's definitely the missing number. Sometimes number sequences won't always go by one. What that means is sometimes they will increase by other numbers. Here's an example. In this number sequence, there are two fill in the blanks. It's definitely not increasing by one because the difference between 15 and 20 is more than one. Hmm, well, I know it's increasing at least because 15 and 20 show me that the numbers are getting bigger. Well, now I have to figure out how much bigger they're getting. If I'm at 15, how many dots will it take me to get to 20? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It took me five dots, which reminds me of counting by fives. Hopefully you can recognize it's a counting by five pattern because 15 and 20 come side by side when you skip count by fives. But if you didn't remember that, feel free to draw dots above the 15. One, two, three, four, five. It took five more to get to the next level. So in order to fill in the first blank, I need to add five more dots. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Of course, if you know how to skip count by fives, you won't need to do the dots. You'll just be able to continue the pattern. 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's do another number sequence. Hmm, let's try this one. This number sequence is different. The first number and the last one we see, they're different, but not in the way we practiced earlier. This time the numbers are getting smaller. This is a decreasing pattern. You have to pay attention to whether or not the pattern is increasing or decreasing. Otherwise you won't move the right direction with your numbers. Well, it's a decreasing pattern. Now I just have to figure out how much smaller is it getting every time I move to the next number? Hmm, I'm thinking about groups of 10. This should be 90, but I'll just double check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 90. Well, in order to change from 90 into 80, I'll have to take away one of these groups of 10. And then if I want to move from 80 to the 70, I'll have to take away another group of 10. And then if I move from the 70 to the last number, I'll have to take away another group of 10 because that's what the pattern is telling me. Each time I move to the new number, I have to lose one group of 10. That's because the nine means nine groups of 10. The eight means eight groups of 10. The seven means seven groups of 10. So in the last term, I should have six groups of 10 and still zero ones. There's the number 60. It's important that you pay attention to the pattern and whether or not the numbers are getting bigger or smaller. Here's a more challenging one. See if you can figure this out. Hmm, this is tricky. 75 blank, 65 blank, 55. The reason this one is so difficult is because we don't have two numbers side by side to compare. Well, we really have to rely on our pattern. <sighs> Let's see, if I was changing from 75 into 65 and this number wasn't here, how would those two numbers be different? I'll try building them. Here's 75. This is the number 75. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. If I go from 75 to 65, I would lose a whole group of 10. The problem is, 
there's a number in the middle. So I can't go backwards by 10. I can only go backwards by half as much because there has to be a number in the middle. Moving from 75 to 65 means losing one group of 10. But I have to make a pit stop in the middle and take a break. So moving from 75 to this number, I lose half. And then moving from the fill in the blank to the 65, I lose the other half. The question is, what is half of this block? There's 10. What is half of 10? 10, half of 10. So that means moving from the very first number to the first fill in the blank, I lost five. And then when I move from the blank to the 65, I'll lose the other five. Oh, it's a counting backwards by five pattern. 75, that must mean this is the number 70. Well, if that's the case, I'll check it again for the last part. This is the number 65, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and the five. I know that if I move from 65 to 55, I'll have, I'll have to lose one group of 10, but I don't want to move from 65 to 55. I only want to move halfway. And then I'll do the other half after. That way I can figure out what this middle number is. So once again, Instead of moving back by 10, I just want half of the 10. So I'll count backwards by five. That means this number is 60. Our pattern makes sense now. It's a decreasing pattern. That means the numbers get smaller as you go. It's decreasing by five. Every time I get to the next number, it gets five smaller. I can draw dots underneath to prove it. If I'm at 75, now I'll count backwards. 74, 73, 72, 71, 70. There's five dots. I counted backwards five times to get to the next term. Let's check it again. If I'm at 70 and I count backwards five, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, perfect, I got to the next term. And once more, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60. I counted backwards five dots and I got to the next turn. There's all kinds of different pictures or tools you can use when you're skip counting. Let's see if we can do another number sequence. In this number sequence, we can tell that it's getting bigger, it's increasing. We can also compare two numbers that are already beside each other. How much bigger is this number compared to the last one? It's two bigger, 42, 43, 44. It took two dots to get to the next term. So if I just add two dots here, that will help me figure out the missing number. I'm at 44, 45, 46, perfect. I can also recognize that this is an increasing pattern and that it's counting by twos, saying all of the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and so forth. We'll try another one. Can you tell if this pattern is increasing or decreasing? Compare the first and the last numbers. Can you tell that they're getting smaller? That means this is a decreasing pattern. Every time you get to the next number, they get smaller and smaller. How much smaller is the question? I can figure that out by comparing two numbers that are already beside each other. If I was at the 85 and I moved to 83, how much smaller did I get? I'll use dots and I'll draw them underneath because I'm getting smaller. I'm at 85. Here's 84. Oh, there's 83. It only took me two dots to get to the next term. That must mean this is a decreasing pattern and it's decreasing by two each time. So if I go to the number 89 and I decrease by two, 89, 88, 87, this must be 87. Let's just double check though. We'll verify our answer. I'm at 87. 
I decrease by two. 87, 86, 85. Perfect, it got me to where I needed to be. That's how I double check my work. See if you can make your own number sequence and leave a blank or two for your friend to fill in. Good luck.